Time to experiment a little bit. I have a fire extinguisher ready. So here's the thing. Uh, I need to cast some parts for that gingery lathe, and it seems like, despite not having winter this year, uh, a couple weeks ago it all showed up at once, and it's not showing any sign of relenting anytime soon. So I can't cast outside. Uh, I've never done metal casting in the garage here, but I think I'm going to try it today. And if all goes well, I'll try casting stuff later. Here's the setup I'm going to try. This might look kind of familiar. This is the platform and the thing and the burner. That's the forge. And these are parts of the forge, the side parts. They're thinner. So I can get this under here. And this is my expendable crucible that I don't really care about because it's the smallest one I have. I'm going to try to melt some aluminum in here, pour it into my ingot tray over there, and then i got a bucket of water just in case. i got a fire extinguisher over there. Uh, we should be good to go. The thing that makes this different is obviously it's not in the furnace. The furnace is, you know, surrounding, it insulates pretty well, and really the burner doesn't heat up the metal. The way the furnace works, the burner blows in, blows around, heats up the whole area, and the kind of the inside of the furnace, there's a lot of radiant heat, the air is also hot. That heats up the crucible, because of course the fire is underneath, and that heats up the metal inside. This, the fire is going to go straight into the metal. So I'm kind of direct heating it, direct heating the furnace, and there's going to be a lot of wasted heat. However, this is pretty powerful, and aluminum doesn't take much heat to melt, so this will probably work. But just in case, fire extinguisher, bucket of water, I can run away screaming really, really easily if something, something goes wrong. Uh, we should be good to go. I'll move There's some wood over there. I'm going to move that before we start. Okay? Okay. Throw some scrap in here. I'm picking out clean, small pieces of scrap because I don't want any smoke and stuff from all the junk burning off it. Okay, and cue voiceover because this gets really loud. Here's why I like this burner. I can, I can kind of start it at a lower pressure and tune it, and uh, it, it doesn't have to shoot out an insane, insane blast like the furnace burner. That furnace burner puts out a lot of heat, but it's really temperamental unless it's on full blast, melt everything on earth mode. This one I, I can take a little easier, and I, I don't risk burning down my garage. I was monitoring the roof temperature over this, and it never got above like 140 or so, like the ceiling of the garage above this. The furnace burner would not would not have done that. It probably would have burned the place to the ground. Because that thing shoots fire like crazy. Like, I'm not sure if I got the mixture right. You, you can kind of have the burner running rich or lean. So rich is too much fuel, lean is too much air, too much oxygen, and neutral is uh, an even mix of both. A stoichiometric ratio, or whatever that's called. And, uh, and you vary that by, I don't know. I, I really can't gauge what the mixture was like. So I tried to eyeball it. And uh, maybe it worked, maybe it didn't. Aluminum's really picky. If you have too much, if you have too much uh, oxygen, it'll oxidize like crazy, like most metals. And if you have too much fuel, uh, you'll get a lot of porosity because it absorbs all the hydrogen. So uh, basically, it's all bad, what I'm trying to do here. But the, the, the aluminum that was in the flame itself melted really quick, because aluminum does that. And it seems almost like it melted down to the bottom of the crucible and then solidified again. So... Uh, that wasn't ideal. I did get some cool patterns on the flames, though, coming off, so that's fun. Maybe if I heated this from the side, it would do better. A few more bricks around it to hold the heat in. I, I don't know. I don't know. It didn't work. Clearly, it's not working well. And, uh, spoiler alert, it doesn't get better. But nothing caught on fire, so that's a plus. Even when you fail, you gotta look for the benefits. You know, it could have burned the place to the ground doing something this stupid, but somehow I didn't. That's for the better, too, because I think my wife was just inside the house, and I'm not sure I would have warned her before I ran away from the fire. Oh, by the way, these aluminized gloves? Yeah, I bought the cheapest ones that I could find, and, uh, yeah, they kind of suck. I mean, they, they kept my hands from getting hot. That was nice, but the brief moments I was close to the fire really screwed up the gloves, and that's not ideal. One-time use gets kind of expensive. Huh. Well, that didn't work at all. That kind of sucks. Back to the drawing board. There just wasn't enough heat on the whole thing. Maybe if I heat it from below? I don't know. 
Give me your thoughts. But that's how we learn. Remember how we used to fail all the time? Yeah. It's like old times. <laughs>